Hey guys, welcome to Destiny Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to discuss about the five important daily habits of an effective software tester or AQA. This is really, really important video for anyone who is basically starting out as a QA fresher, or even if you have experience, right? What are the different techniques that you can do to become an effective tester? Trust me, uh, it will help you a lot. I'm gonna give you a couple of important points here uh, in this video. So make sure you watch till the end and. Uh, if you are someone who basically like to watch uh, at a speed, you can basically change the speed. Uh, 1.5x, I think that will be. Uh, and let's discuss about the five important points. Okay, awesome. Uh, so guys, uh, first of all, very important topic, which uh, very important one uh, is basically planning your daily work. So. As a, uh, if you want to become an effective tester, right? Even if you're a fresher, what are the one of the important thing that I have done uh, from the start is basically planning my day, which I think uh, most of the people that I uh, see personally right now are not doing it. They basically start their QA, but whenever they, whatever the work they have, right? They basically start randomly and they are lost because they have they are starting with the scrums, daily scrums, and after that they are lost completely. So what I would suggest is that uh, have a QA template a uh, qa daily template basically i'm going to give you like how this templates look like okay so uh this is this is uh the last one uh, 7th uh, jan 2022 where i basically have mentioned like what are the tasks that i'm working on uh, the status as well as the priority based on it okay so these are the couple of tasks i was not able to take the interview because of uh, some of the re reason but yeah you get the point right and this template is actually available Right, you can basically. This is actually a, a template of a Notion.so, which basically can be used for note-taking app. Right, uh, you can duplicate this template. Uh, I think the link is. Uh, give me one second. Uh, yeah, the link is basically this one. Uh, you can cop duplicate this one, which is sd.ly/weekly/planner, where you can basically uh, duplicate this uh, QA daily template. And what you can do is that uh, you can weekly track what you are working on based on the priority. So you can create your priority one here. So basically what you need to do is you just need to duplicate it and it will be available similar to this. And you can basically create your priorities based on the priority. You can pick up the task. So make sure you are uh, basically noting down everything as a to-do list. So that is really, really important. Uh, that this That is the first point that I am basically take, talk, uh, discussing about here. Right, you have to use your to-do task and based work on the based on the priorities. Uh, review your task daily in the end. So in the end, what I do is that uh, basically I'll just go through it. Okay, so I have completed a couple of tasks, but I missed one. So this is kind of a review. What I have to uh, basically take care next time. I'll just uh, put it into the next uh, week. But whatever the, whatever the pending tasks are there, I will put it put them into the next week task, right? So this is very, very important to become an effective. Uh, you can use this as a weekly tracker also. Weekly and daily tracker, it helps in both. So if even in the scrum, if someone or even in stand up, someone asks you what you are working on, what you are going to work, right? And what any blocker, you can basically use this template and tell them exactly what they want to know. Right? So this is really, really helpful for me. Uh, it has, uh, I've been using it for more than I think five, four, five years and it works very well. A second important point is read daily. Uh, point is keep learning, but uh, read daily. If you know me, right, uh, I really, really like to read more about this stuff. For example, uh, if you see, I mostly, if you will see most of my content related to it a, on a SDET of, uh, SDET page of Quora, where basically I have, uh, whatever the questions are there, I try to give them answer, uh, as well as on automation page. Uh, if you see, uh, I really, really love to read on Reddit, such especially the quality assurance part, where I uh, basically discuss, comment down, right? So you can read more about it. And if you see the Kindle library, I have like a couple of books that I, definitely recommend you to do that to learn about it for example the software tester book design pattern that i am currently run learning uh, selenium uh, automation interview job this was just a common uh, couple uh, i think i think one of the uh, book that i have seen I, and i wanted to see what kind of interview questions people are asking right now so those things yeah so uh, make sure you are reading daily that is really important you are improving your knowledge right you are basically watching the educational content and 30 minutes of coding or Udemy videos. So you can take any courses. For example, uh, I am learning about design pattern, AWS advanced concepts, and a couple of new tools like PlayW Write, where the PlayW Write uh, course is also coming so that I'm working on 
so those things so i, I have talked about it right and uh, dev.to.community i think which is really really good for any developer as well as tester where you can see what other developers and testers are working on uh, you can follow scrolltest.medium.com which basically uh, a medium that i basically run and in the medium also you will find lots of articles so overall point is you have to read daily uh, watch educational content and 30 minute of coding and uh, udemy courses which will make you more effective in nature right uh, let's come to the third important point third one which is uh, sharing your knowledge right i think you already know i have already run, uh, i am already running a blog which is scrolltest.com right uh, you can basically write uh, so whatever that you are learning you need to share that i am continuously saying this you need to share that knowledge you can share it into it linkedin post youtube videos whatsapp or become a part of a community don't become a looker just part of become a part of a community okay so what you can do is that so ministry of testing i think i have talked about it many times so you can go to the club dot ministry of testing where uh, you can become a part of it there are it's basically a software testing forum and uh, that uh, you can become a part and learn more about it right and you can share your findings also uh, i mean whatever you are learning you can share on the uh, forum also uh, this thing for to become an effective tester i think this is very important which is less meeting and more work uh, learn to say no this is uh, really really important and i know it's very easy to say no to couple of tasks but there trust me uh, whatever the work you are doing daily right there are like one or two tasks where you can clearly say no so decide on that okay have your personal working hours this is very very important uh what i have seen is people after uh, the first thing generally they have is send up and after that they are continuously discussing something with each other they have meetings and they don't have any personal work hours where they are uh, where uh exactly the task that is assigned to them right they are not able to focus on that so make sure you do that uh this is couple one thing which i have basically uh, tried which is dm over the call if possible so and when whenever anyone want to have a call i personally ask them if we can sort this information over dm dm basically means asynchronous method through slack or any other way where i'll reply back whenever i have a time so that's one thing and uh, instead of call because if i get a call uh, from a any a person it will take a time it will consume my bandwidth and all side so make sure uh, you can if you can avoid them please avoid it okay uh, let's talk more work that you can show them right so this is one of the uh, important thing so fifth point which is basically don't bind uh, off more than what you can chew so this is what i have seen you're taking more work to impress managers uh, which is really really bad uh, really really bad uh, so make sure uh, yeah so make sure uh, whatever the work that you are basically taking uh, take exactly or bite exactly what you can chew okay so don't take too much work because it will basically yeah, exhaust you and you'll not able to work properly focus or deliver take this is one one thing that i have applied and to become an effective tester is take less and deliver more which is really really great right and hey have a me time also me time basically means have some time as a buffer where you can focus on some other pocs or some other work also right so those things are important and uh, yeah that was uh, so this is all about it and Uh, about the five important points uh, which basically can uh, help you t- uh, these are habits kind of which will be- basically help you in becoming an effective software tester right uh, let me know in the comments what you think about it and if you have anything that you would like to add comment down below and uh, thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video bye